Mm, I suppose I am too, but it is my nickname. Well, I don't like it. What's your name? You won't laugh, will you? Of course not. Finley. Finley? Are you serious? I knew you'd laugh. What's well, a funny name to call anyone? Well, I have another one as well. What would that be? Daniel. Daniel. Right. I know. From now on, you're Dean. Perfect. Dean's fine by me. Oh, I never did. We did to call it. So you're fine, but... Yeah. So did you see the latest? What's up? There's no more books. I don't get it. You're Dean. Me too. Hooks is one I've actually called Dean. Whatever. What do you think? Cool. Far better than hooks anyways. That's what I think too. What's this a gathering? Look else about to go. Sir, what do you think of Terence's new nickname? What would that be? Dean, sir, what do you think? Well, it's a lot better than hooks anyway and much more in keeping with his current behaviour. That's what I think too, sir. <laughs> what about what I think? What about it, Dean? What will be next? Science. I forgot to do that research. You can copy mine. What was out there? Nothing, Nothing sir. sir. Uh, it, it really is just too much. Too much. What is Mrs. O'Bell? Well, Mr. Montgomery has invited the principal and vice principal from St. Michael's College to come and, and see our anti bullying champion in action. Mr. McDonald's doing a good job. He no, nips things in no, the pot. I, I know that. I know that. But do we really want another school involved in our affairs? I don't really see the harm in it. Look, if I see any more praise for the friendly faces, I really am. I really am going to scream. And you know this forum that's been set up. They all sit around and talk and chat. You know, I just happen to think that's an excuse to get out of the maths class. But, mademoiselle, no. That changes next term. Look. It, it, it's only one period anyway. Yeah. I, nevertheless, nevertheless, look, their noses need to be in their books and not in other people's affairs. Look, I really want all these young people in our care to be successful in their lives. I really do. I really do. There's all this stuff and all this noise really going to help them to get through their exams. Seriously. Look, Mrs O'Connor. Good physical and good mental health is just as important. Yeah. This is something you need to understand. Yeah. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Montgomery. Good afternoon, Ms. O'Connor. Uh, this is Ms. Dixon, principal of St. Michael's College. This is my vice principal, Ms. O'Connor. Oh, it's lovely to meet you, and you're very, very welcome to St. Saviour's. Thank you very much Sweet. indeed. It's, uh, it's good to be here. Uh, my Vice Principal, Mr. Coyle, will be along in a few moments. He's just having a word with some of your friendly faces. Oh, right. Hello. See by your badges there that these are friendly faces? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you from St. Michael's, sir? Yes, I'm Mr. Coyle, Vice Principal. Your school's biggest in the city, sir. Well, yes, ours is quite a big school, and like our schools, we do have our problems. We need the friendly faces. Well, quite. How do friendly faces help our pupils? Sometimes the quieter pupils, especially your age, just need somebody to chat to and make them feel safer. I was like that last year, and the friendly faces really helped me. We're not just friendly faces, sir. Absolutely, and keen too. We look out for people in a whole lot of ways. If somebody's being bullied or feeling left out, they know they can do any of us, any kind of way to help them. I'm also healthy your eights and nines, and I really like helping them. Sometimes they're shy and just don't mix. Seems like you're doing a good job. Is there much bullying in your school, sir? Well, there's bullying in all schools. And yes, we do have some issues. That's why we're here. Look, I've got to go. It's been nice talking these. I so, hope you friendly faces, sir. Well, so do I. Sorry about that, folks. I was having a very interesting conversation with three friendly faces out there. Oh, good. I'm sure they were full of chat. Oh, they were. They were. Uh, Mr. Coyle, I'd like to introduce our Vice Principal, Ms. O'Connor. Oh, lovely to meet you, Mr. Coyle. Very welcome. It's lovely to meet you, Ms. O'Connor. I've heard a lot about your great work here. Ah, we do our best. <laughs> well, I would like you to get a sense of what we're actually trying to achieve here. So, I suggest we go and visit the Friendly Faces Forum in about, say, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, I believe that quite a number of schools are less than enthusiastic about your proposal. Ah, indeed. It's an up 
uphill struggle and the Education Authority, they cite cost factors that have been quite prohibitive. Well, you know, that's oh. to be expected. Uh, but, you know, if you take the long term view, you really could save not only money, but also perhaps lives and indeed reduce the impact of future physical and mental health issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I'm really grateful to have another principal who shares our beliefs. Thank you. But you are definitely be commended for taking leaps here. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. And, yeah. you know, we've been taking quite a bit of flack from various sources. Yes, well, I mean, I expected a certain amount of lethargy from various elements. But comments made by some of those who should know better has been quite disappointing. Mm. That's why St. Saviour's is striking back. What do you think of that, guys? Super, are you making a speech next? I might just do that. My mum and my dad will be really proud of me. You'll get that Xbox for death now. You think? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> all right, everyone. How are all our friendly faces? Good, sir. I've heard the good news, Roy. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. I didn't expect it. It just goes to show Mr. Montgomery has been keeping a close eye on things. I suppose you're right, sir. Um, I better get this meeting started soon. Mr. Montgomery and the principal of St. Michael's are coming. Aye, so you better do it right. Don't I always? Aye, right. Okay, uh, this meeting is now started. Right, okay, Mr. Simpson. Uh, right, the report from last meeting first. Good afternoon, Mr. MacDonald. Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce you to Ms. Dixon from St. Michael's Dixon. College. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Don't mind us, Rory. Uh, right, sir, I was just going to read out the minutes from the last meeting. That's fine. Just stick to the issues and the actions. Okay. Um, matters arising. Judy McConnell and Mandy Fisher were seen by two of the Year 10 friendly faces picking on Cathy Curran and when they told her to stop she said a few nasty things and this was reported to Mr MacDonald. Ronnie McGuinness, Year 9, was sending hurtful texts to Anne-Marie McLoon, Year 9, and she reported it to Tegan, who then told Mr MacDonald. Um, Bobby Brown, Year 10, and John Taylor, Year 11, were giving Evan Edwards, Year 9, a hard time and took his dinner money. Misha and Cara saw them doing it, and they both denied that they had taken his dinner money. Mr. MacDonald gave them both uh, the money back and told them to apologise, and they both got a week's detention. And that's about it, sir. Right, thank you. Uh, Ms. Dixon, would you like to ask any of our friendly faces questions? Yes, I certainly would. Thank you very much. Um, can I just ask this young lady here, where did you join the friendly faces? I joined because Hooks, I mean Thompson joined and he used to be a bully. Okay, thank you. And uh, can I ask this young lady here? Well, I was a bit shy and I was getting picked on. So I joined the Friendly Faces and they helped me. And <coughs> can I ask you? I joined because everybody likes them and they stop all the hassle. Excellent answer. And can I ask this young gentleman here? My two friends joined the side too because Hooks, I mean Karen Thompson was picking on us. Ah, no, that's all behind us now. Not right, Terence? Spot on, sir. Well, that's Cyberman. Think so. Of course it is. Yeah, that's a really embarrassing thing to say. She's been hassling Susie for a good while. Mm, I'm going to see Mr. McDonald. But it's nothing to do with us. What's this for? I mean, it's not something that happened in school. That doesn't matter. What's happening? Look at that. So, Carrie Fish is always putting, posting stupid stuff about people. But that's cyberbullying. What's that? Bullying people online. She's full of it. Aye, we know that. But anyone can read that post on Instagram. After all, we read it. We all knew that. But we Susie is so shy. It's bound to hurt her. I'm going to tell Mr McDonald. Are you all coming? I why not? We'll all go. I'm not going. He caught me pushing Sammy Edwards on the brake line. You're always annoying people. That's why you're not a friendly face. I'm not a bully. How would you like it if I shoved you? It's just a bit of fun. Fun for you, but not for him. Suppose not. Are you coming then? All right then. I might get into detention. <laughs> no chance. 
You going first? Not me. I'll go. Sir, you need to report something. Why would that be, Sean? So we will answer. Have a seat, everyone. Sir, we saw a really nasty text on Instagram that Carrie Fisher sent to Susie McLean. I haven't heard that name before. What year is Carrie Fisher? She's not at our school, sir. That's right, sir. She's year 11 in St. Michael's. Let me see the message that she sent. Wow. Right. I am going to contact Miss Dixon at St. Michael's. Now, the bell will go in a few minutes. Uh, Susan McLean's in your class, Katie. Ask her to come and see me after the next class, please. Okay, sir. I hope Carrie Fisher gets expelled for that. No doubt Miss Dixon will take swift action. What are you all smiles about? We reported Carrie Fisher for cyberbullying. Who's she? She's at St. Michael's. Good enough for her. She's in for it now. Who is she really? Susie McLean. I'm glad she's not at our school. But she could still post lies about anybody. Why would she do that? Because she's a loser. She better not post anything about me. Do you ever wonder what it's all about? What what's all about? Studying, exams, all the pressure. Mm, not really. I just take it as it comes. I know what you mean. You finish one set of exams and start preparing for the next. So? Typical. I've got other things on my mind. Such as? Global warming, prices of fuel, the rainforests in Bolivia. I think you mean the Amazon. Aye, there too. And all you ever think about is football. That's not fair. I get stressed out when I forget about my coursework. You mean you forget and text me to help you? Since when? Since last Wednesday. Lads just don't care. You know what that's called? What? Ladism. What? Ladism. We've got ageism, racism, the new one's ladism. Girls picking on lads. I think I've heard that before. Aye, in your dreams. You just talk some crafty. See, that's ladism. Come on everyone, we need to give a talk to the year eights. Okay everyone, time to move. What are you all about? Mr. Montgomery wants me to give a talk at St. Michael's. So? You'll be great. So will you. What do you mean? You're coming too. Says who? Mr. Palmer. Oh, I forgot about that. What? Yes, yeah, he wants me to go and give a talk at St. Michael's because I'm a teenage lad, am I? Don't tell me, I can guess. You said I'd be good at it too. Well, sort of. So you thought it's a day at a school and I'll get a man to do all the talking. But you're a better speaker than me. Bluffer. There's two perfect actors right there. Where? Where? How do you fancy half a day off school? Great, Len. You need to look for your parents to get a half day off school. Well, technically you're not out of school. Here we go again. What are you planning? Well, you know the way in drama we do role plays? Well, I was thinking, why not do a role play with bullying in St. Michael's? Sounds good, but you need permission. I'll ask Mr. Montgomery. And the actors are? Who else? Hi, Richie. Miss Penn is looking for you. Why? She said you have to help her with the display. I forgot about that. We want to do you drama. Do we have to earn many lines? Well, do they do? Uh, good question. We'll need a script. Amanda. Don't look at me. I can write a script. I don't want for a work piece day. I remember that. Mm, not exactly what we're going for. We want something with a bit of... Exaggeration. Exactly. I'll do it, but... But what? You're the main character. Why me? Why not? You're always acting. Where are I going? Next Tuesday. So I have to write a script and they have to learn it in just over two weeks? See, no problem. <laughs> you haven't a clue. But you have. Hey Jessica. Where are you going? I have to go see your head. What's up? Nothing. I have a dentist appointment. I need the dentist. Me too. I was just swanking. Can I join the friendly faces? I? Why not? I'm a tussock, I get upset at times. So, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I think so. Well, well, just look at me. Everyone thought I'd be dumped out. I thought that too. Um, go see Mr. McDonald when you come back. I oh, will. Later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> What's your skill like? Same as here, I suppose. Just a lot bigger. 
But you've no friends, this is... Not yet, but I think we will have soon. Is Billy a big problem there? Not really. Duh, the year 10 girls are always at it. Well, I don't see any balloon. What about all those nasty posts on Instagram and Snapchat? Oh, I forgot about them. I think that's the worst type of balloon. So do I. It's so hurtful. It is, because you never get a break from it. Do you really think you're going to do any good? Yeah, we do. Because we were... What? Nothing. We better go. Let's stick someone be looking for us. Bye, friendly faces. Bye. Bye. Well, what do you think? It seems that the friendly faces are making a difference. I agree. A great idea. Time for a change. What do you think? I agree. Absolutely. And I think we've got our first two friendly faces here. I'm up for it. Me too. Time for a change then. Are you getting ready for the exams? I wish. I have to write a script for a role play at St Michael's. I thought Rory was doing that. I supposed to. Guess what? They stop you off it. Spot on. And I'm under pressure to get it written and performed. Why don't you write a performance poem? I never thought of that. That's a great idea. There's not too much to learn. Perfect. What's up then? What's up then? Good job, huh? Which is? Tegan thinks we should forget about the role play and have a performance poem instead. That's great. I think. What is that anyway? Hi. What is it? Duh, it's a poem that a group of people recite has done to create an effect. Which is? Well, we want to highlight cyberbullying, don't we? Right, so? So this is the best way to do it? Sounds good. And we can all recite it. You could mean this. Of course, why not? Um, we can get some of your nines and tens too. I should have her up in bed tomorrow, I hope. Who bothered you? <clears throat> is this a knife I see before me? Saying you're so dramatic, you can deliver a few poignant lines. The bard of Big Man? That's settled then. Glad I've got that sorted. So am I. Just get a little worried about it. Three one day. Well, I didn't think about it. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I'm to you being head boy, do you too? Your dad is bound to get you at Xbox. Your mum and dad are kind of so good these days. Hi Rory, so is like the gorilla's fan hole being here walk? Yeah, in like five minutes I'll just hang on. So these are fun us? Yeah, that should be fine. See, that's a head boy, this isn't right there. What's that all about? Me and Richie are starting up the gorilla's fan club in school. Oh, class, I'm good at that. Is that the Murdoch guy? Aye, we bring that up. But where are you going? Back to you, it's far away. Come on Richie. Okay, friendly faces, we've brought you all here as part of our school rewards policy just to thank you for all the hard work you've done and I suppose to get you away from your normal routine. Absolutely, Mr. Montgomery, sure. A change is as good as a rest, as they say. I like getting here, sir. So do I. There's a nice ambience, a nice walk, a nice feeling too. Are we going for a walk after this, sir? Well, if it stays dry, yes, we'll walk across to I thought we were getting the school bus. We can, young man, but it's a nice day, so walking's a far healthier option. Thanks for the treat, sir. Aye, thanks, sir. No double maths. Alright, ma'am. Aye, you would. Now, next week, you know you're all going to St Michael's College to perform our poem on stage. And I know you'll do us all proud. I don't fancy it. I'm too shy. Don't worry about it. I'll be there. I don't fancy it. It'll be a day in school. I don't mind it at all. No problem, sir. Do I have to do, sir? Yes, you do. And remember, first practice is tomorrow before lunch. Come on, it will be fun. But the suit's in a right, sir. Ah, okay, okay, look. Don't worry about that, I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. I'm getting nervous already. I'll be fine. The things I do for you, too. I'll help you, no problem. That's comforting. Well, Tegan will help you. It's typical, you lads. No, no, that's lad, isn't it? Oh my lord, I'll help you. Thanks. Someone says it'll last. I'm really enjoying the day of school. So am I. I hope we walk back to school. Me too. No double geography. Great.
It's a long walk. The longer the better. I suppose there will be another drain on the school budget, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, no, Ms. O'Connor, they deserve a treat. And you deserve a treat as well, Ms. O'Connor. So, Becky. Now, folks, we'd like to thank Ms. O'Connor for all her support with our campaign. Thank you, Ms. O'Connor. They're beautiful. They're, they're all, they're, I've always been behind it, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, I know, and that's exactly what I needed, Ms. O'Connor. Okay, folks, tidy up, and we'll walk back to St. Saviour's. Onward and upward, Ms. Montgomery. Good afternoon everyone. I would like to welcome Mr Montgomery, the Principal of St Saviour's College and as Vice Principal Mrs O'Connor and Mr Jerry O'Kane from the PSNI to St Michael's College. Mr Montgomery will speak to you today about his Friendly Faces initiative which involves a lot of very active pupils from all year groups who help stop bullying at all levels and in every situation with a particular emphasis on cyberbullying. We have some of those friendly faces here with us today. But firstly, Mr. Jerry O'Kane from the PSNI is going to talk to you about cyberbullying, which in essence is the use of electronic communication to bully, intimidate, or to threaten another person. Mr. O'Kane. Thank you, Mrs. Dixon, for inviting me here today to speak about the seriousness of cyberbullying. As you all know, I can take many forms and effects of people of all ages. Cyberbullying can and often does lead to a criminal record. If, for instance, someone sends a text message, an email, an Instagram, a Snapchat, any message or a post of a threatening nature, well, that's a crime and can lead to a prosecution. Just because you don't speak to the person face to face, it doesn't lessen the seriousness of what you did. Many young people are surprised to learn that that is the case, but take it from me, the law takes a very dumb view on threats of her aunt harassment by any means. Whatever be electronic or otherwise, we don't want young people to face a criminal charge due to the sending of those kind of messages. And indeed, that's how I am here today, to reinforce the seriousness of this issue. Just remember, if you are thinking about sending a message or posting anything on social media, just say no. Just ask yourself, can this message or post hurt this person in any way whatsoever? So do not send that message or any post on social media. Words and images hurt. It's as simple as that. Don't do it. Thank you. I would now like to invite Mr Montgomery, the principal of St Saviour's College, to say a few words. Thank you, Ms. Dixon. Since we have launched our Friendly Faces program at St. Saviour's College, we have had a dramatic decrease in bullying in our school. However, online bullying remains a problem, and as a result, we're raising awareness of the seriousness of this issue. As we all know, pupils have become so used to using their phones on a daily, and, indeed, in many cases, on an hourly basis, that we have reached a point where the removal of a phone creates an emotional backlash. And that is a significant problem 
in itself. However, today we are dealing with online bullying, which does not stop when the school bell goes at 3 p.m. Incessant, hurtful, threatening, and demeaning posts or texts will not be tolerated. Rather than me making a long-winded speech about this unacceptable situation, I'm proud to say that one of our friendly faces, Amanda, has created a performance poem based solely on the experiences of another one of my pupils. And I'm delighted to say that she is now in a much more positive place due to our friendly faces' timely intervention. As our anti-bullying champion, Mr. McDonald, so aptly put it, this is where it ends. A hurtful snide remark. Finger, Finger fast. fast. Turn, turn my head away. Weirdo. Another, Another day, day of pain and hurt. hurt. Left, Left out, out laughed at. Home, home to your hurried routine. routine. Left, Left alone in my shelter. shelter. You're for it now. Tea, Tea unfinished. unfinished. Homework, Homework half done. done. We're waiting for you. Restless, Restless night. night. Black, Black morning, morning drinks. drinks. Come on, you'll be late for school. We're waiting for you. Waiting for you. Bus, Bus ride to school. school. A daunting place. Two more things. Afraid, afraid to look. look. Head down. First bell, bell rings. rings. I sit I alone, alone in foreign class. class. Everyone chats and laughs. No, no one speaks to me. Mr. Clark comes in, the noise subsides. Prepare for pain. 